Next up, Polkadot's tokenized Bitcoin wants to bring DeFi beyond Ethereum. So what is this? Well, this will bring Bitcoin's liquidity to DeFi applications on Polkadot and its network of parachains. When we think of DeFi, mostly it's all built on Ethereum, ERC-20 tokens. And Bitcoin can't do that. They can't just go from Bitcoin or, you know, on the Bitcoin network over to the Ethereum network. It does not work like that unless you wrap it. So Polkadot introduces tokenized Bitcoin blockchain teams are working to replicate the grand success of tokenized Bitcoin products like wrapped Bitcoin. So we have to take a step back and we want to bring everybody up to speed. So what is wrapped Bitcoin? So this was an old article, just so you know, on January 31st, 2019. This is not new, but it just goes to explain what exactly uh, wrapped Bitcoin is. So wrapped Bitcoin, uh, launch on Ethereum, allows users to make Bitcoin-based transactions on a different blockchain. Wrapped Bitcoin officially became a tradable ERC-20 asset on Wednesday evening as a Bitcoin-based derivative token. Wrapped Bitcoin is minted when actual Bitcoin is deposited with a custodian. And that's the big thing. It's with a custodian, a centralized figure, person, entity, conglomerate, something, a custodian on a one-to-one -one ratio. So you give over some Bitcoin, they give you some wrapped Bitcoin and it's wrapped in ERC-20 token. This allows traders... And of course, this is the question, why? Why? What is the point? This allows traders to effectively use Bitcoin's value on Ethereum and its dApps, for example, on a, on a decentralized exchange, like a Uniswap, like a simple swap, like something like that. So I always think is like, what's the point? I mean, couldn't you just uh, take your Bitcoin and then sell it uh, for Ethereum, then take that Ethereum and then transfer it over to your wallet and then use that in your in the decentralized exchange. You can, or you can just do uh, a wrapped Bitcoin, as they as they call it. So there are some. There's a little bit of a benefit uh, here and there. And of course, what would be great now is if we are able to do that on Polkadot, because Polkadot, you're not wrapping it into an ERC20 token. It's in the Polkadot, and or the Polkadot chain or the Polkadot token. What's great about that is Polkadot doesn't just deal with ERC-20. It is interoperability across a broad spectrum of blockchain. So you're not just stuck with uh, going to the Ethereum, which a lot of things are built on Ethereum, let's be honest, but you have a lot more options. And that's the big thing. So a cross-chain bridge will onboard the Bitcoin's liquidity to Polkadot's ecosystem after the Bitcoin parachain goes live in Q1 2021. And let me just tell you this. That's amazing that they're able to say, hey, we we have a, we, this is what we want to do. This is our project. And we're going to get it done in like four or five months because, you know, in March, that's the end of Q1. So if they get it done before then, that's amazing. Think of how many projects out there that are just really lagging behind. And these guys are like, hey, we're going to do this uh, in like four months. No problem. Users will be able to lock their Bitcoin and issue Polka BTC, which is one-to-one -one backed. Similarly, to redeem their Bitcoin, users will have to burn Polka BTC on the BTC parachain. So to issue it, you go from Bitcoin to this wrapped Bitcoin. You can do whatever you want to, but then to redeem it, get your Bitcoin back, you got to burn it. Yeah, destroy the Bitcoin back token. So interesting concept. So what's the advantage? Well, the advantage is Bitcoin and Polkadot is that the network is highly interoperable. We just talked about. This means that Bitcoin can do more by interacting with multiple blockchains all at once. This means that DeFi and Polka BTC could spread quickly beyond just the Ethereum ecosystem. So that is the uh, the whole big thing. And just as a recap, I want to go over one thing. What is Polkadot? And this is from Polkadot.network, just what everything is. And why is it so great? So Polkadot's a next generation blockchain. Just know that. And the reason why I invested into this and I believe into it is mostly because of Dr. Gavin Wood who was one of the founders of Ethereum, or the Ethereum Mafia, as I like to call it. Uh, this guy's already done it one time, and he's got a great idea. And he was essentially the CTO, the chief technical person, along with Vitalik and uh, a couple other people. But he was the one that really made it, made it go. And I read this book. It is fantastic. If you got an opportunity, pick it up. It's called The Infinite Machine. And it goes over the history of how Ethereum was created, uh, the different bumps and obstacles along the way, and how they got it actually to market. And it was fascinating. And the information about there about Dr. Wood, or Gavin, it was essentially why I invested in the Polkadot, because of that book. Anyhow, what does Polkadot do? Well, it scales easily. Blockchains in isolation can only process a limited amount of traffic. Polkadot is a sharded <laughs> multi-chain network, meaning you can process many transactions on several chains in parallel, eliminating the bottlenecks 
that occurred on legacy networks, Bitcoin, that process transactions one by one. And Ethereum 1.0 is one of those as well. So that's big for scaling. And as we start to build up, uh, we need to have those high transactions per second, just like what Visa has. I mean, 150,000 is pretty darn good that, that Visa can produce, as opposed to Ethereum's 17 to 45 and Bitcoin 6 to 10. So we need that to happen. And then it goes over how to you know specialize and work together and self-cover and all that stuff. But to me, that's the big one. Uh, it's all interoperability, and it's going to make everything a little bit smoother, a little bit better, and a little bit faster. So let me know what you think in the comments section. Let's move on.